on your funeral. <laughs> and they either castigate you or praise you. <laughs> so that one will take the challenge. Why I am why why I am picked on Moses Ali is this. Moses Ali is grandfather, the father of his father, is buried in Palabek. His own father grew up in Palabek before relocating to Ajumani. Moses Ali has got half brothers and sisters here, here in Ajumani. His mother's co wives remain and when, 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 when his father died and remained in Ajumani. He has names. Maybe she be able to tell you who they are. Moses Ali joined the army in 1968 on the quarter, honorable minister for defense. This, this, friend, this brother of mine, he joined on the quarter of Ajuni district, not my district, in 1968. He was a school teacher, having started in Coach Goma, Church of Uganda. He joined the army when he was in another girls' ethnic school in 1968. Under a jury district quarter, not my I told him what elders here, the people like Bishop Victoria will know. I, I wish I wish the late Amalia Kerr was alive. When you look at the coat of arms in my district, the identifying feature is a cockerel, a cock. That cochrane was given to Marie by Rajuri. Rajuri identifying identity was, the identifying instrument was a cock. Then he asked you, the Rajuri said, no, we are too big for a cock. <laughs> then we beat the elephant and we gave you a cock. <laughs> <laughs> We stayed in, in peace. I have, you know, for me, I do a lot of research. I do a lot of consultation with elders. Right. Actually, district, local government, actually, district, local government, in the 1950s, sent three terms of Ajuri district to Bulaya, UK, to study on how to manage local governments. Sene uh, Nyanzi, there is this one, I remember the name Ukidi, he was, he was secretary, company secretary in the for a long time. Ukidi is one of his names, I don't know what I'm doing. And then, there was Moses Ali, a Nubian called Bakit, who had become an Ajuri. This is, this is how we in Africa are. That Nubian was called Bakit, he went and studied on the scholarship of a Jolly district. Later on, he became a minister in the minister. But he don't use the name of it. I don't know what you might know. If you do, you tell us. We were at peace with all our neighbors. To a point where, even if you are going to to Yumbe, Koboko, you're going to Karamoja, you still have to come to Guru. That's the headquarters of Northern New York. The heart of Northern New York. They will, they will, they will tell my wife. This kind of viewers are truly in. That was the nerve center for Northern New York. Everybody who mattered, this way they would converge, talk development, build relationship, and so on and so forth. The story of told about how, how the cop beat it. Now he ridiculed the Minister of Defense, Sadi Sulama. He followed Nama, drinking in the bar of the hotel. He didn't want people, but things happened. Things really happened, and the biggest problem is, in my day, how can they say, meaning you know you have a tongue in your foot here, but you think because you're putting a pair of shoes, it will not hurt you. When there's a wound festering and the day the pass gets out, it's like champagne when you shake the bottle like this and you open and you know what champagne does. And we realize these things are happening 
when issues like Papa come up, then you realize you are still so far apart. And yet, the power comes to God. We, we, we are the richest society in the world, we Africans, in making peace. Bending spears, Matoku, doing this and that. Because brothers, we don't always quarrel. Once somebody is your neighbor, the good, the bad, and the ugly will happen. You fight to reduce the ugly and the bad. So I tell him the good Prime Minister, he said, for how long are we going to continue like this? Why do you go to the president to solve the apart issue between my dear and the children? Why do you go to the president? And we have many elders, actually elders, actually Rudy, many Rudy, I don't know the call Rudy, many. Really? You hear from this side and say, the problem is what is a need. You need to know, people here, 99% of people in the tent here, think you are the problem. But when it comes to speaking up and you should have to solve the problem, they put their mouth under their armpit and say, it is what is a need. They hide it. Then when you go tomorrow, you say it is, or I know it is, I don't know who the other is. For me, as I can tell you, for me, I belong to a generation who saw what happened, grew up in it. I would want my child not to experience that what we want to do. I would want my grandchildren to find a marine and tune in and make jokes. I will find my grandchildren to go to Moyo and if there is a, a, a hotel called Mani Inn, somebody pulls a note say, you man, what you have written here, say, this is Mani Inn. Say, what is I'm actually doing here? That type of job, that type of job. It brings relationship. So I tell him, General Moses, I mean, I say, why do you need a group of elders? Come to actually Deputy speakers, because the, the, the highest ranking political leader now here is the deputy speaker. So we are coming to visit you. We will call our religious leaders, we will call our council leaders, you will stay with us three or four days and we we'll talk about this place. And the deputy speaker gets a delegation from here to Adumani, to Moyo, a place of your choice. We we'll go to the other place called Nairobi where when, when, when we were fighting with your people, you, you know, the Magis arrows were superior to the Jewish spirits. Newton's laws of motion, the need of the projectile, the Nairobi super spirits in the sky and it lands on top of the Jewish warriors. <laughs> Actually, the Jewish in, in, in open warfare never defeated the Nairobi. I can tell I'm an Jewish warrior. There was the elements. What ended the conflict between Mali and Majuri was an act of God. Mali came attacking. It rained because the string they were using was made of leather. So when it rained, the leather became useless. And we killed you people mercilessly and after the end of the conflict between Mali and Majuri. <laughs> Just leave for my thank you, leave for my But after that, we stayed so well. We stayed until 1970, 71, and up to now, this is festering. And our elders are here, they don't want to talk about it. By the time we are all gone, the children who are going to inherit this soil, who are going to inherit soil in Madi, in West Nile, will not know why there is this hostility. So if we do not sort it out, for me, I hold the honest view, you do not need the central government to bring peace between my dear and children. You don't. <laughs> the central government may come in. When they find you're doing a good job and say, oh, we want to help you facilitate, continue back to facilitate. This thing will say, you must always, now if my dear house is burning here, do I go to state house? 
before I go to put of the fire. No. My neighbor. And the neighbor is as important as your wife. That's when you pray that you say, your mother cannot produce everybody of us. She can produce so much, only so much. The friend you make is the son, the child of your mother. The neighbor you get is a child of your mother. <laughs> this is my plea to tell Moses and me. No that good. That when we come to honor. His office is in the constitution, so you have no option. You just have to wait. Some reason, <laughs> Even you, your office is in the constitution. Like what option do you have? And when I, I praise Moses and me, not just Moses and me, I am addressing all of you elders. It is important. This food, I mean, we shall always eat food. For me, people come to me for all sorts of things. I want someone to come to me and say, we are leading a big delegation tomorrow. We want a contribution. I'm telling you, I'm prepared to go hungry and give that money to that delegation. To go to this money. We can't live like this. Finally, last year, because this, there's a precedent at the, at the garden the home. We say we are not as we individuals are not responsible. But that government was led by our son. So we've come to apologize. We've come to seek forgiveness so that there's a reconciliation. You know, God really loves us. And that government, that's why God has kept your life. You don't know why God has kept your life. One day he will ask you. Whether that God is called Roman, whether it's called Anna, whether it's called John, whatever you call him, that God will ask you. That I left all your colleagues there, but I left you on earth. You are talento. In the Bible, there's the story of the talent. You are talento is to lead the peace process between the people of Maturi, the people of West Nile, so that we can resume what lost in the King's Seven Table, I, I, I don't have the honor to invite you to speak to the brothers and sisters.